Valley tonight, Mike LaPetri. Mike, good morning to you. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning. Very excited for tonight. So he says, what, do you, what the heck do you have to lose? What are your expectations for tonight's rally? Expectations are about the reasons that they're going to New York for the second time in this race. He spoke at South Bronx over the summer uh, is because it's a big media market. So the message that Donald Trump delivers tonight is going to be piped into TVs across the country, including in battleground states. What do you think that message will be? I think the message is going to be ultimately is saying to the people Look in there that could actually save America for their future. It is remarkable. And it's kind of a home game for Donald Trump, too. Oh, He's yeah. comfortable in New York. And, you know, you think about Nassau County. It's a suburb of New York City. And a lot of people not from this area might be surprised to learn how red it is. But it is red. How did that happen? It's dark red. Because people look at it and they say, what's going on? The man is the Democrats right now throughout New York in the State. the third congressional district. That's the seat that George Santos once had. You're now running against Tom Squazzi. Really quickly, how is it going for you? It's going great right now. The reasons he's coming to New York, too, to help those down ballot, very important races like yours. I heard that 60,000 people have registered to be at this rally, so it's going to be big. Mike, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Hi, Carly. Sir Lizio. Yeah, good morning to you guys. Hi. Today, House Republicans are holding a hearing on the border crisis. response. You know, they say kids are growing up faster and faster, but this is ridiculous. Well, apparently she she drove the car for 25 minutes, which is crazy. <laughs> she let, okay, this goes to show you that kids don't understand how things work. And, and, and receiving from a great man. Oh, Ryan. thank you very much. Very a lot welcome. of greatness. Hey. And in between us is a great floor manager, Chris, <laughs> on our camera. And check right. out this. Uh, Awake what? during the whole thing, guys. How about that video? It's well, incredible. It That's is incredible, but one of the reasons is because they've got to. That's incredible that they can do that, that he's willing to play that <laughs> while they're operating on his brain. But yes, it was kind of my fault, but really. Hawaii Congressman Tulsi Gabbard confirming she would be open to serving in former President Trump's cabinet. Well, Williams it's, it's guys, smart too, uh, but it's smart too, Carly, because you don't want someone not buying your or listening to your music because they don't agree with you politically, right. especially if you become an activist rather than just a voter. Also, I think it becomes a little bit silly. Like when I, I was, I, I got an alert on my cell phone yesterday and it said, Billie Eilish endorses Kamala Harris. I saw that. That's like, really? Is that worthy of an <laughs> alert on my phone? Who cares? Maybe well, because yeah. her brother also is part of it. Ooh, well, double yeah. who cares? What about, what about Howard Stern? Howard Stern says, I don't hate Donald Trump. He shouldn't be president, but I hate people that are voting for Donald Trump. Yeah. I mean, is that one of the dumbest things that any personality has ever said that cares at all about their audience? He doesn't 70 hate the million candidate, people voted people. for him. I, I guess the most. You hate the, the voters. The things that annoys me the most is that the people that are going out there and making these comments are not going to be impacted the same way. Like right. they're asking, the tax cuts and, and the, people need it in that middle day America. Yeah. People. They, they'll be fine. Their families will be fine. It's the people that they're in, their audience, the one that pays their bills, that's going to be impacted. Well, the problem the is, they're. Are you going to eat them? Are you going to go for it? It's my favorite day of the year. Right. I'm Brian wait. Standen. Because yes. People oh, eat, so. Brian, he's, he's, eat all of yours. She's my stunt eater. My Look at this. benefit. To my benefit. Mm -hmm. You got 45 seconds. Mm -hmm. These are so good. This is a double patty, too. This is with this a lot of cheese, really right? right? And it's yeah. warm. How is that, Janice? This is really good. As you can this see. is exactly why I'm telling you. Perfect combination of all right, everything. Yeah, I'm back. the only one qualified to talk because you guys are all eating. You just love Steve, that, you want right? to tell him your story? All right. Uh, By the way, today is the one day I have so my good. blood drawn for cholesterol. You it's can at take 9 o'clock. Oh, yeah. take it home with I'm you. I'm taking this By home, home and I'm going to eat it. Wayback Burgers. Find Wayback Burgers at waybackburgers.com. Wayback Do it. They are fantastic. Steve's going to eat this in the hospital. All right. All right. That's a good burger. Steve's killing me. I'm taking right this to the hospital. Happy right. National Cheeseburger Day, everybody. Stay within yourself. Bye, everyone. All right. See you all tomorrow.